Biscuits. Sausage gravy over biscuits, scrambled eggs, potatoes, all the good stuff, all the healthy stuff. <laughs> Looks like you you made the same decision. And oh wait, oh, a little bit healthy. All right, one big difference here. We have a. Uh, and that's where. Uh, we have the uh, the uh, Camo Dave Jeopardy question. What is the difference between Nomadic Fanatic and Living Free Mike? The difference is, one's on a diet, one isn't. <laughs> no, no healthy diet there for Mike. That's right, Key West. That's right, that's uh, one of the uh, most uh, rural uh, places you can go, right? Lots of, lots of bars, lots of clubs, lots of fun, right? Anyway, he's hanging out with his little uh, tribe there. There's... And, uh, I guess, you know, hey, all right. Yeah, yeah, a lot of drama, a lot of drama there, huh, Mike? I don't know. Where, where'd Southern Goodness go? I guess she's uh, gone her separate ways now, hasn't she? It's, hey, it's a new year. We got the Nomad News Guy uh, live streaming four hours. First off, a couple, couple of, a little bit of advice for the Nomad News Guy. Four hour stream, too long, too many streams on YouTube. Many of them, most of them are too long. Number two, you're not on radio, you're on video, okay? Don't put a microphone that obscures half your face, okay? It's a wonderful mic. I'm sure it costs a lot of money. It makes you sound great, but you want to position it so it's not like covering half your face. Uh, I know that, uh, it, what was his name? Uh, we yeah, it's saw some, somebody else. Anyway, yeah, I've seen a bunch of other uh, nomads doing this too, people that uh, don't do that, okay? Those are pet peeves, okay? Otherwise, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do that with my new studio. Get a big microphone and just put it. You don't have to look at my beard anymore, okay? That, it, 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 will, will that work? And uh, I'm camped for boondocking in a casino parking lot. Okay, the casino there, what's that, Blue Water, Blue something casino there in Parker. We've seen a lot of nomads hang out there. That's a very favorite place. Real cheap buffet. Uh, and uh, you can do some gambling. Take all that money you've got on YouTube and you can uh, blow it there. Anyway, we've got uh, Gus in the bus here who's doing the, the he's doing the traveling. Live from the he's Homes on Wheels Alliance. All right, so he's uh, decided to uh, see what kind of drive it's like over to the fairgrounds there, La Paz, where the uh, the um, the uh, events will be held. All right, so anyway, so what did it take him? He said eight minutes to get there. Okay, so uh, that's not bad. The problem is, as they said, the problem is uh, they're going to be having an. Uh, an ATV convention, right? It's like those are what those called all-terrain vehicles, right? Uh, at uh, Parker during the uh, RTR 2020, and there's going to be lots of dust and lots of vehicles and lots of noise. So you might not, as 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 cheap over the wing Bob said, you might not want to be camping out over there uh, during the RTR. But uh, it's about a what is it? A, a 20 mile drive from Quartzsite. He recommends that you go to Quartzsite, but uh, I don't know. It'll be, you know, be interesting to see what kind of a crowd they get there at the uh, at the seminar place. Wow, look at that sunset. Okay, we had uh, Bama Mike here. Bama oh, Mike's got a bad start to the new year. To where it said it He's got his, first off, he uh, got his drone stuck up in a tree. Oh no, not a good year for Mr. Mike. The thing that appears to be damaged is a, a, a little spot where it hit the ground. Oh dear, all right. Anyway, you know, that's the risk you take for those wonderful drone shots is, uh, I don't know, man. And is he eating healthy this year too? We got to check. Hey, you want some dinner? You want some dinner? <laughs> At least we got oh, a content dog please. on here. That's good. Yeah. Uh, no, that doesn't look particularly healthy. But that looks good. You know, Mike uh, visited me in Athens, Georgia last summer, and he's an interesting guy. He says he always gets like a big plate of food and hardly eats any of it. He just nibbles on it. And he did that at the restaurant. I treated him to lunch that day. And he got a big plate of food. It was a real cool place. Mama's Boy, I think it was there in Athens. And he just nibbled at it. And it was a pulled pork sandwich or something. And I ended up saying, well, if you're not going to eat it, 
can I? <laughs> he did. Let me. Anyway, I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway, Happy New Year, Bama Mike. I don't know. I'm sticking to my New Year's resolution for day three. I haven't watched any Carolyn's RV Life. Okay. I, I, I don't care, you know. She's doing kind of the filler videos. I guess she's in New Zealand or something. And, you know, she does the filler videos. And I, it's three days now I've been sticking to my resolution. No Carolyn's RV life. We'll see how long it goes. I don't know. I don't think I'm missing much, huh? The one thing we do get down at Quartzsite Metropolitan Area is beautiful sunsets. I'll tell you. <laughs> the blimp. I guess it's coming there for the big ATV. Is it there for the RTR? I don't know. Anyway, BVD is hanging out in some of the beautiful um, endless parking lots there in Walmart. Walmart, Walmart, Arizona. They should change the name of Quartzsite to Walmart, Arizona. What do you think? Maybe they could get some money for that. It's like 80 degrees and we're working on our tans. And everybody says, well, this was the best day in a long time. So. Well, they've had some chilly cold weather there, so nice, uh, nice warm day anyway. Uh, so everybody's kind of getting ready. Uh, brutal anticipation for the uh, good old RTR. Some clouds moving in there on BVD's video, huh? Oh, dear. Oh, no. Anyway, uh, okay, anyway. Another beautiful sunset. Well, that's it was long, yeah, that's that's about it. Okay, he's not in court sight. Slim Potato Head is uh, in the cold. He's in the cold and he's cranky. I don't know why. That's pretty pretty actually. <laughs> Go back to his roots to the woods with the bare essentials, huh? And that's B A R E, not B E A R. But uh, yeah, wow, this is pretty cool. That doesn't look like fun. Uh, I think I'd take Quartzite. You know, if I have to choose, it's Quartzite for me. But well, nothing that'll attract he's animals, Canadian, so he loves it. At least. And if you can see, there's my tent over there. And there's a little bit of a valley with a stream in it. You know, that's one of the things on the, uh, if you want to become a Canadian immigrant, yeah. they ask you the question on the forum, do you love snow? And if you answer no, they turn you down. Okay, so you got to answer yes, either in English or French. I haven't put my coat on yet. Oh, the camera's probably going to freeze pretty quickly. Oh, my. Oh, i got to put this down. You know, he does look a little bit kind of cranky. You know, okay. usually he's pretty uh, um, stable so with his emotions. The, uh, you know, his, his vehicle break down, he's okay with it. He'll just sit there by the side of the road and wait for the rescue uh, truck. You know. Froze. The outside of my sleeping bag is froze. You can see, I'm, I'm frozen. I'm wearing, uh, I've got some heat pads inside my, my uh, mittens because my hands were too cold. Um, it's a little bit miserable. To be honest with you. Little bit. So I'm gonna have to think about it. Oh, and some advice. <laughs> if you're thinking of camping in the winter time in a confined tent, never ever buy vegetarian dehydrated three cheese lasagna and then go to sleep. Or at least go to bed. Don't have it as your last meal. Because Oh my God! I don't know which of the three cheeses were the worst, <laughs> but I was cutting cheese all night, and oh, it stunk. Okay, good advice. Oh my! What else has Camo Dave been watching? Mark Fun Jones. Goodbye, YouTube. I'm busy for now. Mark has uh, definitely cut back his output. Uh, in the last month or two, uh, we enjoyed him. Uh, he'd always did some crazy videos. He's just kind of taken a break. Maybe he's just sick to death of YouTube. I don't know. Anyway, uh, but he's been skateboarding and uh, doing some other stuff, so we hope he's okay. Uh, this was interesting. I just uh, wanted to mention this because it was an interesting video. Pat Sajak there. He lives in the D.C. area. He's like a Maryland native. He's the host of Wheel of Fortune. Anyway, a couple weeks ago, he doubled up in intense pain with some problems down here. I'm not going to get into all of that. But uh, surgery, and now he's much better. He's feeling a lot better. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Glenda Sully, what do you say? 
Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Her channel's kind of mixed up. I think she needs to sit down and focus on what am I covering here? Uh, living on Social Security, meager wages of that, or should I just do my life? And what what cool stuff am I? Uh, what what cool stuff am I doing with my? You know, where are you going to eat and all that other stuff? I don't know. Uh, we need to sit down with Glenda and have a little conference there. But, uh, you know, she does have people that really like her, and then she does have people that really kind of... Yeah, it's She gets on her there. This is great. This is great. Um, um, Laura, um, Noralee. Noralee there from uh, the Netherlands. She's been uh, traveling across Argentina and Chile on her trek up to Alaska. So, uh, but the problem is right now, it is gosh darn hot. Sometimes they disappear and then... You know, you hit that uh, deep gravel again. And the roads are very bad. It's not like uh, the United States where even the back roads are paved. Day. For both of us, the no was saying 49 degrees. That's her, that's her vehicle, her, her motorcycle. To, this is the first tree that I found where I could uh, stand in the shade for a little bit. And luckily there's also some wind here, but just the air is so extremely hot. So what happened was, you know, she usually has pretty good days. Usually each day is a good day, but not this time. Turns out my options are pretty slim. This is a tiny town, and we, this is the only place uh, to stay here. So it must be so, over the holidays there, and she pulls into this little town with one, like, it, be in Airbnb or whatever, and it's closed. So uh, really, really nasty. So she has to keep going for the next little town. It's a little bit uh, run down. And it's a run down Maybe it's place. best that I don't show the room with the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it doesn't matter for me. I am so shattered. Really, I'm exhausted. Uh, I mean, in the end, all in all, I did yeah, almost 400 kilometers today. Uh, which is quite far. And uh, yeah, the heat of the road, well, I've, I've come complained enough today. Uh, yeah, that was just one of those days. I mean, they're pretty rare. Uh, I almost always really, really enjoy the rides, but today was just a day that I was just like, oh, let's just get it over with. Um, so yeah, there, was what, there are always the bad days, and this one was the heat, can't find a place that's open to stay at. Uh, and the gravel, the, and the gravel roads. Some gravel roads she rides on are good. Others are loose gravel and kind of sandy, and her vehicle doesn't like it. It kept overheating today, and uh, so she's gonna chill out in her dumpy abode that she found. <laughs> so, one thing after another, huh? But anyway, love this channel. My one of my favorite channels now. Gotta watch it every time she posts a video. She is going from southern tip of Argentina to the northern tip of Alaska. And she's kind of around, uh, she didn't go to Santiago, Chile. She went around, she actually, she said she's been to Santiago before. So she went back into Argentina. So she's been crisscrossing many times the Chilean, Argentinian border. So she, then it's going to be, then she's, you know, then we got the, what are the Atacama Desert up there and it gets even hotter. You know, in the Southern Hemisphere, the further north you get, the hotter it gets. And more humid once she passes that desert area. So I don't know. Good channel. I, 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 I really, really hope she stays well and safe, okay? Because uh, you hear some stories about down there. And uh, uh, a woman, a young woman on her own cycling. Eh, I'm, but she's got a lot of people watching her channel, and uh, including me. So we're all keeping our eyes out. All right, folks, that ought to do it for today. I am, I am here at my friend's place in Morganton tonight. I think one more day because I still have to move some stuff into the new apartment and then I'm going to be there full time. So, you know, on my air bed and then I've got to figure out i got to get a bed and some other things, but got to move some more stuff in before I, I, I'm at that level of luxury where I actually feel like being there 24 7. <laughs> uh, this is a nice bed. It's a very great. Crotchy likes it, right? Yeah, they look great. All right, folks. Oh, by the way, uh, if you want the latest and greatest Dave stuff, go to fuzzface1z.com, F-U-Z-F-A-C-E.com, and I got my brand new address up there. That's right. So if you want to send me some swag, some cards, some cash in the mail, whatever, you want, you want to order some stickers, send me a self-addressed envelope, send it to this address, Camo Dave, 104 North Green Street, number 116, Morganton, NC, 28655, okay? All right, that's the new address. 
If you send stuff down, Athens, the Athens P.O. Box will work for probably another month or so, but it's, everything's going to have to get forwarded by Barb, so it's going to take a lot longer for me to get the stuff. But uh, that's the new address, and it comes straight to me here in beautiful western North Carolina. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Vlog under.